Hey everyone, we are going to review all the different types of problems that we have learned to solve using the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if you remember, we first started out with this model that proved the Pythagorean theorem. The two smaller squares combined to equal the larger square, which is where we get our formula from. So like most of these problems, number one says, what is the area of square c? We're going to use the formula to solve it. So the numbers are already squared. So that means they gave us a squared and they gave us b squared and they're wanting us to find square c so I won't take the square root at the end. So a squared is 45. It is already squared, I'm not gonna square it again. b squared is 90, same thing, it's already squared and I want to find c squared. And 45 plus 90 is 135 inches squared. And that is it because it said find the area of square c. I don't take the square root, I only do that when I'm finding a side length. Since I was finding an area here, I leave it as c squared. Okay, next one, it wants to know what is the area of square B. So again, I won't take the square root at the end. Let's look at what they gave us though. This is the biggest square, so that's obviously C squared. And then they did not give me A squared, but they did give me the side length of A, which is seven. So let's write down the formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. They gave me a, which is seven, and seven was not squared, so I'm gonna have to square it. And then I want to find b squared, and c squared is 200. c squared is already squared, so that's why I am not squaring it. Okay, now I am trying to find b squared, square b. So to get b squared by itself, I'm going to subtract seven squared. And b squared is by itself, and 200 minus 7 squared is 151 inches squared. And we are done because it wanted square b. That's why I don't take the square root. It wanted square b. All right, the next thing we did was find a missing side. Now that I'm finding a missing side, I will take the square root. So let's look at this one. It says find the value of x, round to the nearest tenth. So again, I will plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They gave me the two legs that form the right angle. I am finding the hypotenuse. So I'm going to do five squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. So five squared plus 12 squared is 169. And since I'm finding a side length here, I am going to take the square root. And the square root of 169 is 13 inches. Okay, number four, it wants us to find the value of x, round to the nearest tenth. So the given shape is a rectangle, but I can see a right triangle within there. And in the right triangle, I can see that they gave me the hypotenuse C and a leg, and I'm finding another leg. I'm gonna call it B. So let's plug in and solve for our missing length. A is 12, don't know what the other leg is, and C squared is 19. I'm going to subtract, since I'm finding a leg, and B squared is whatever, 19 squared minus 12 squared is which is 217, and then I'm going to take the square root, and I get 14.7 centimeters. Okay, the next thing we did was the converse. That is where we plugged in to a squared plus b squared to see if it equaled c squared. And if it did, if it was a right triangle, if it did not, then it was not a right triangle. So this one says, could the three side lengths below form a right triangle? This would be A, B, and 100 would be C, since it is the longest uh, number. 
So let's plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared and see if this would be a right triangle. So I'm going to do 60 squared plus 80 squared and see if it equals 100 squared. So 60 squared plus 80 squared is 10,000. And 100 squared is also 10,000. So since these equal each other, since a squared plus b squared equals c squared, yes, it is a right triangle. Okay, let's try again with this one. 60 and 60 are the smaller side, so they'll be a and b, and 120 is the longest side, so that'll be c. So I'm going to plug in to see if it is true. So I'm going to see if 60 squared plus 60 squared will equal 100 squared. Oh, sorry, 120. So 60 squared plus 60 squared is 7,200. And 120 squared is 14,400. Obviously, those do not equal each other, so this is no, not a right triangle. Okay, number seven asks for what is the perimeter of the triangle. So I'm going to find this, but then perimeter is all the way around the triangle. So I'm going to have to add the three sides together after I find the hypotenuse. But let's start by finding that hypotenuse. So it's going to be 11 squared plus 4.5 squared equals c squared. So 11 squared plus 4.5 squared is 141.25. And I take the square root. And I get 11.9 centimeters. We are not done yet. Remember the question said, what is the perimeter? So now I add my three sides of 11 and 4.5 and 11.9 to find the perimeter. So 11 plus 4.5 plus 11.9 is 26.5 centimeters. Okay, number eight says Robert bikes two miles north on University Avenue and one mile east on Campus Court to get to class. How much shorter would it have been if he took the shortcut traveling through campus instead? So we want to know how much shorter is that blue shortcut length than doing what he did and going around campus on that pink length. So the first thing I need to do is find that missing hypotenuse. So I'm going to plug in to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it'll be 2 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. 2 squared plus 1 squared is 5. And then my last step is to take the square root. And the square root of 5 is about 2.2. .2. So the shortcut was only 2.2. .2. He rode 2 plus 1 along that pink length, which was 3. So he went the pink length, which was 3. I want to know how much shorter this shortcut of 2.2 .2 would be. So I subtract, and I get 0 0.8 miles. Okay, last one, what is the distance between point A and B? So remember for these problems, I draw a right triangle. The diagonal is the hypotenuse and I'm able to count the legs because they're perfectly horizontal and vertical. So this leg is one, two, three, and this leg is one, two, three, four. So now I'm just gonna plug into A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So it'll be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. And 3 squared plus 4 squared is 25. 
and I take the square root and the square root of 25 is 5. So C is 5 units. The diagonal distance between those two points is 5 units.